Hey guys, hope you're still here from last game. If you're just joining us, the COD game, we won 3-1. Pretty exciting. Now we're on to Legal Ledgers, and that's pretty exciting too. Uh, I was just discussing with my co-caster, Quick Kill. How are you guys today? Uh, that the, um, the picks are pretty standard for the most part. Uh, everyone looks pretty normal. You see Run It Down Mid on the Vlad. Uh, that that's actually a little atypical for run it down mid. We haven't seen him play Vlad in comp yet, uh, but DRXP on the Lilia, uh, Glockdial on the Zed, and uh, two spoiled and insane on it, the Kaisen Bliss Crank, respectively. All pretty, pretty normal champs for them to be playing. Uh, otherwise, so it should be a pretty fun game to watch on uh, Northwest Missouri's side we've got the orn amumu rise Ezreal, and leona uh so i'm sure you guys are familiar with all of these champs except maybe for rise uh, i don't know if we've seen rise on stream yet this season yeah i don't think we have uh rise is a pretty fun champion um can be very annoying with his uh alt as a teleporter so that's a little bit of an ir or irritating also he has quite a large auto attack range so that's one thing that the uh the glockodile in that zed matchup is gonna have to look out for is getting poked out too er too early mm -hmm. i i agree what you guys just heard was actually an audio bug he was talking just fine yeah i heard it too because i can hear <laughs> what you guys hear i can't hear him in person he's yeah. in venezuela <laughs> i'm in venezuela uh-huh uh -huh. What time is it in Venezuela? I wonder. I'm pretty sure it's like the, the same time zone. Is it zone the same us. time zone? I want to say. Because so. I'm pretty sure they're just pretty just directly south of Venezuela us. Venezuela time. I wish I could be wrong. They might be a little further. They're an hour ahead of us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <coughs> oh, well, why not? Yeah, we do. It's just turned down right now. Oh, yeah. We, we do have mic audio. I don't know. Last time we had to turn on mic too, so. No, we... Or last week we used mic two though as well. You shouldn't have to. Oh, I well I don't know. We used it last week too. Don't. But don't. Just simple as that. Don't break it. Yeah. Let us know in chat if you can hear our beautiful voices, because we have no idea. See, if they don't respond though. Yeah, we won't know for five minutes. And... Well, 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 yeah. <laughs> but there's also the point of they might just not be responding and they can hear us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they're just giving us an old troll. El Trollmeister. El Troll. Pizza. Pizza. Yum. I was at the calf today. I waited in line for 40 minutes to get a burger. Good God, why? Uh, cause whatever the other thing was at the calf didn't look appealing, so I mean, that's kind of standard. So I waited in line for my burger, and it was I don't know it was a burger it was fine. Yeah, <coughs> that's how I would. But now I'm was. here to munch on some leak ledger action. Sheesh. He's Sheesh. literally consuming it. Someone stop him! <laughs> my mouth is on the side of the monitor. There's like show gath, you're just eating things. Just just eat everything. Yeah. More CC equals more GG. That's true. That's true. Lots of CC uh is going to equal GG. But also, to to be fair, lots of damage can also be GG. And uh Zed has lots of that. Along with Kaisa. Kaisa also has lots of damage. They're, they're both so Yeah. I'm excited about the Blitz crank. And Vlad is just annoying as a champion. Yeah. No, no one likes Vlad unless you're playing Vlad. But normally, like, I feel like Vlad's one of the champions you wouldn't go out of your way to ban unless they literally have a Vlad player. Yeah. Because, like, he's just annoying to play against. Mm. It's not necessarily that he's, like, crazy strong. He's just so annoying that if, by the end of the game you're tilted and you lose. So, you know, we're hoping that, you know, run it down mid can tilt Northwest Missouri out of their chairs. He just grabs their chairs and lifts them. Just, just grabs them. Well, I mean, he is 6'6". He probably could. Also, that is a 
dope a Blitzcrank skin. I didn't see it. I was looking at the Anumu skin. Not going to lie. Yeah. Do you want Fog of War on or off? Uh, probably off. Your choice. Boom. Wait, is that on or off? That's off. It's off now, yep. Look how much clearer it is. Oh, it's, it's so insane. pretty. Insane. We're insane. <laughs> We're insane, bro. <clears throat> I wonder if they can hear my munching on the pizza. Probably. If you guys can, uh, I don't know, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Insane. I'm telling them that there's a lot of good mages out there. Kind of interesting as Rise is a mage himself. So maybe some early BM going on here. Oh, but then... A big that hook from the Blitzcrank. Hook. <laughs> and that is first blood. Wonderful. And Blitzcrank gives you that ability to do that very often in the early game. So that's a nice way to start off the round for you, Jay. Less than a minute in with first kill. Uh, uh, so I, you didn't see it, but with their Orn typed in chat, it's about the Mets. I appreciate that. Do you know that meme? It is about the Mets. I do know that meme. It is a very good it's meme. A meme. High quality meme. It's about the Mets, baby. Let's it's go Mets. It's about the Mets, run. baby. It's all about the Mets. Here at UJ, we are all about the Mets. Hit a home run. Love the Mets. Love the Mets. DeGrom, my favorite pitcher. Mm hmm. I agree. <laughs> Gonna see Lilia take red, red little tree boy here. I don't know any uh, baseball rosters anymore. I used no. to, but I don't anymore. I know a lot of them. You know who I don't know though. Hmm. Um, or let me rephrase. Do you know who I don't know anymore? My Cubs, because they traded away everyone. <laughs> and I hate them right now. Yeah. But that's okay. Now we're into the epic first three minutes of League of Ledger action. Since the first gank came in, now we just get to see them farm. However, are getting some early poke, and Insane engages again, catches Ezra or catches the Ezreal, but might be in a little bit of trouble as the shield chick, who I can't remember the name of. <laughs> He's able to come in. Oh, oh get the pick! Oh, the pick. and two, pick. yeah, two spoiled with that. Get pine cone, pine cone, pine cone, cringe. Get pine cone. Kill the pine cone. Get pine cone. The pine, pine cones are cringe. The northwest is ours. Oh, the, that's it's okay. Oh. You burn flash. That's pretty good. We'll take that. Honestly, that's kind of like a kill. It, it really is, because especially with uh, we own that is shield woman who I couldn't remember the name of, mm -hmm. but um. Honestly, like, because Leona has, like, that initial, like, sword dash thing as movement speed. But other than that, she's very slow. Yep. So it's kind of a good thing to get that flash out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now that the flash is gone, she has to play more passively or risk just getting killed straight up. That's Zed, get out of a nice gank there. Uses his own flash, but isn't ganked. So, I mean, we, that, we that, take that. That wasn't, take that. that wasn't his flash. But wasn't it? No. <laughs> that was um, one of his abilities. He like, uh, drop, uh, he, like, drops a ghost and, like, switched places with it. Oh, okay. But it's, it's basically flash. Now he... No, he didn't use flash there either. Okay. Zed's movement cracked. Nuts. Insane. <laughs> Isn't Zed, like, really old, too? Yeah, he is pretty old. <laughs> Grandpa Zed. <laughs> He's still running marathon. <laughs> Horn goes in here knowing that his jungler is nearby and running down mids in some early trouble does have to use flash to get away but still might not get out and will not as Anumu chases him down and oh, stun locks oh, him oh, oh the Horn just died to minions yeah it was to, it was to it was to uh, the Vlad bleed was it yeah oh. is is what got the killing blow so that actually will go as a kill or as a trade for run it down mid i yeah we we take <laughs> that we making take that. the impossible seem possible can you hook minions yes okay and it's very tilting when you do okay so, yeah so that's <laughs> why he hooked wide yeah. yeah i feel like hooking minions seems viable 
I mean, in certain cases, yes, but like I would say overall, there's no, you know. no. It, it just seems consistently viable. I think this is a good strat. <laughs> the only reason you re use it is to hook minions. Oh, nice. speaking of hooks, yeah, massive hook, lots of damage. Uh, Pinecone does uh, does go in to defend. Uh, and UJ won't quite get a kill out of it, but UJ did get quite a bit of damage. Yeah, they, the they won time, the so. damage trade there, and that's pretty big. As you can see, Ezreal right now using a health pot um, just to kind of get back up so they can stay. Oh, but Pinecone gets hooked again. Hook. Pinecone dies. Pinecone has to Pinecone die, Pinecone dies. Right? Pinecone dies. No, no Pinecone, Pinecone gets out. Got a good skill shot on those animals there. Let me go get some more pizza. You entertain Okay, the have fun with pizza. <laughs> Looks like UJ kind of wants to set up for this first dragon here. Um, as we see the Vlad Orn action in top. <clears throat> kind of clearing out vision. Just making sure that when they do want to get th or go for this drag, they can have it. It's an early game farm here. <clears throat> and a great hook from Insanum. That should be Pinecone's kill. There's no way he gets out of this one, right? Yeah. Pinecone goes down. Two spoil needs to be careful and will go down to the Ezreal. Insanum kind of has to get out of here as Ezreal does have more damage. <clears throat> so one for one trade in bot lane. Um... Not the worst thing in the world, but not exactly what EJ wants to see. A lot of damage from the Glockodile, and there's no way, right? Yeah, this should easy, easy pick up for the Glockodile. But does get traded out, but Ezreal falls to the turret. So now the only supports are coming back into play, but both their ADCs are dead. Only one jungler up right now, and that's UJ's. And a clear scuttle in top, so that's a very free play for him. Very free. Glockadile is pouring damage yeah, on right now. He's insane. he's only level six, but like he's actually melting Shunking, when it comes yeah. to damage. Why can we not tab for items? Is it... Uh, you have to click in there. You got click in. Ah, there we go. I was like, what is going on? Yep. And the oh, and oh, the Glockadile. He almost gets his second kill, but leaves the race with one health. Oh, and that's because he's chunking because he's. Wait, he did kill somebody. He has two kills. I don't know how he has two kills. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently, he killed someone. Well, we didn't see, but not well. You didn't see. I was getting pizza. That I. It's true, bro. <laughs> it's true. So everyone back on the or everyone back on the rift now. Probably gonna see UJ trying to force a dragon fight here pretty soon, knowing that Wakadile has so much damage right now. I wonder if man who says no is a play on knights who say knee. I, I couldn't tell you. I, if I it honestly is, I, couldn't. I like it. Just, it. Instead of knights that say knee, it's just some regular dude that says no. <laughs> I appreciate and see, that. And you see Zed already being able to purchase his ghost blade. So he's going to be very strong for the next couple minutes here until um, some other people start getting some items on the board. Glockadile doing a great job in mid so far, farm being able to out farm that much and set himself up in that position. <clears throat> Kinda surprised UJ hasn't tried to force dragon here i think they might be looking for a pick and then to go to dragon not really sure what the comms are but we might see a late dragon here as well a lot of damage it's so much damage but now the glockadile's in a lot of trouble oh and he will go down so that's a big kill on the side of north west missouri i almost said northeast the, the other corner of Missouri. <laughs> the other Missouri. Oh, 
Leona dives in very aggressively, and Sanum's in a little bit of trouble here. Yeah, but Pinecone deserves to die there. Yeah, I, I would agree with you, but Two Spoil's getting chunked oh. as well, and oh, Two Spoil uh -oh. turns around to fight again. I don't he know. He gets these kills. He gets these kills. No, but now run it down mid is here, uh, and he's left alone. Yeah, run it down mid. <coughs> uh, uh, yeah, okay. This is a very sloppy engagement from EJ there, um, and that will cost them first dragon, like no doubt. Mm -hmm. um, it just looks like a, they really miscommunicated yep. on just about everything. You have. Two spoiled turn back around at one HP to get like he's gonna go in for kills. Does almost find two of them, but will fall. And then the very late teleport. It's it was some big miscommunication there. They're not in too bad of a spot as they already did have the lead, but they do lose the dragon, um, and their gold lead is now back to almost equal. Mm. So it kind of painful, but it's essentially starting this game almost over again. Just with a couple items. Yeah, definitely <laughs> could be worse. Could be putting them into a losing position. Yeah, so. it's it, it's now to the point where UJ though doesn't really have a fight to give. They kind of have to play safe or play a little safer and play a little smarter. Mm -hmm. um, I I think the idea was good, but it needs to be executed a lot quicker if that's what they're going to decide to do. It looked like there was a little bit of hesitation from Insanum and possibly running down mid and top with that late teleporter. I mean, Quackadile forcing out a lot of good damage out on Numu. Probably will make him back here. And you know, Zed's pretty scary at this point of the game because he can start clearing camps by himself and like help um, Deer XP anti jungle. So Numu is going to be kind of, uh, you know, rough spot because if he's ever by himself he's essentially in danger <laughs> as Zed will do the damage to kill him mm -hmm. good pizza good soup <laughs> Allie loved that meme I love that meme <laughs> Good soup. It, it's funny because it's like the only <laughs> thing she knows too. <laughs> she just she just says it at the weirdest time. Just mm, good soup. Run it down mid in a little bit of trouble. Is able to back though. So no real harm done aside from getting marginally chunked. Yeah, pretty big engagement coming in here. DXP does hit the stun, but Anuma hits the counter stun, and Anuma's stun in this case a little bit better. Yep. And they kind of line up, so DXP goes down, and Sanum should go down here as well. Yeah, that's Might. Really Ooh. painful. Yeah, and that's a, that's a two for nothing. They're going to lose plating here. Um, you're going to lose jungle. Possibly, Glockadile is going in. Should be able to... Okay, so he does make it a 2v1. Oh, he just executes a two for, He does. He does make it a two for one, which is, which is good. But, you know, UJ really taking another fight that they weren't completely favored in. Um, it was a 3v3, but the stun difference is like a couple seconds, so. <laughs> However, the Glockadile is getting quite large right now, which will be pretty detrimental come into this middle game in this next dragon fight, because I'm almost certain you're going to see another dragon fight here. Mm. Um, Probably within the next five minutes. I would wager next three minutes. Uh, I, the timer's not up, so it's got to be at least five. No. <laughs> no. No. I think it's going to be three. I don't know what a, like what Vlad even does that he does that much damage, but he does a lot of damage. does he also have like, <clears throat> a ton of lifesteal? Isn't that his thing? Uh, yeah. He's like a super ton of lifesteal. And, like, the lifesteal he steals, he, like, keeps or something like that. I don't know. It's very... Well, so, like, he adds to his max health? I believe so. Oh, that's wild. Ooh, oh, big That's hook. a good hook. And that's... And see, that is the engagement that UJ wants. They want yes. to get the pick and back up. And now, also, you have Orn's TP burnt from top, which means that Run It Down Middle have a free walk back to lane here and doesn't have to worry about losing any CS. 
Quackadile needs to be a little careful. Should be able to get out all right. Um, as I say that, the uh, rise does come in, but won't matter. We'll go back to mid lane, clean his turrets up, and you know, UJ kind of gets their free kill back there, and you know, nice play overall. Free kills, kind of cool. I think the biggest thing is though is that now there's a massive teleport difference between run it down mid and uh, man who says no in top lane mm -hmm. and dragons up in two and a half minutes I believe and Orn's TP won't be back up by then. No. So so he either has to start working his way down or get their way. Yeah. So so UJ kind of does want to force this next dragon, um, or at least I would assume they want to force this next dragon pretty hard. Uh, if Run it down mid can just keep the Orn preoccupied, or like even just keep an eye on him. I think that'll be really beneficial for UJ. Yeah. Um, just just because you know, like you said, he doesn't have that that teleport, so you know when exactly uh, Missouri is gonna have <coughs> all, all those stuns, all the the tank ability that Orn's gonna bring to the fight. Yeah, I agree. And looks like UJ not really wanting to take this fight yet, as Lilia did back, but they don't want to give the dragon away, so they're just kind of posturing themselves around. Looking for um, an early setup here. Possibly Ooh, a hook. And massive hook. That's a big hook. But Kaiser's skill shot does miss, but Vlad comes in, and that's a lot of damage. Uh, Joe with no fro, oh. though. The rise comes in, does quite a bit. Oh, oh he's drowsy. He's asleep. Yeah, Deer XP trades it out, but the Ezreal comes in and gets another one. Vlad picks up a new move, so both equal fight right now. Joe with no fro, very low. <laughs> Vlad wants that. him. Vlad wants him. I can't I, blame him. He's super low. He's not going to be able to get him, and now he's going to be very careful. As yeah. Ezreal did chunk Vlad. It's going to be something that running down mid is going to have to take note of as this game goes on. Kind of interesting to see him go in there, but dodges the skill shots, so we'll get out. You, know, you can re-engage like that if you, if you just know you're going to dodge the skill shots. <laughs> it's true. Possibly just better, question mark. And you're going to see the lane swap come in. So Zed's going to go to top lane, and Vlad's going to stay in mid lane. Um, or at least that's what I'm assuming is happening. Glockadile alts in, but <laughs> does almost no damage. Well, it does a good chunk of damage, but to Orn, it's nothing. Yeah. Um, does get the Orn out all of him, uh, alt out of him, though, as well. Which is a big deal. Yeah, especially if they're trying to get these te this team fight for the dragon. Which I think they're at, or which I think they're trying to still do. They don't really want to give this second dragon. You might see just an objective trade here, where we take Shelly and they take Dragon. I don't know. I I think UJ can definitely force that. You also see Insane down there by Drag Pit. Yeah, I I think you can. I think you totally can force it. I think you just have to be very careful. Like we we force team fight, we win team fight, we get drag, then we get Shelly for free. Yeah, you gotta you gotta win the team fight. We win team fights. <laughs> we win those. We, I, I think we're just better. Question mark. Yeah, I th I think they're trying to push push um push some waves in here before they have to fight this though. Mm -hmm. Is or at least that's what it looked like they were doing in mid. Northwest, or North, yeah, Northwest Missouri will have full vision of this as they did kill the scuttle, but they oh, UJ looks like they're just, new yeah, dragon. Looks like looks like Northwest Missouri gave the smart call to just kind of give that and had to try and get this top tower, which they'll be close to getting if not get it here. Mm -hmm. So, kind of just trading out dragon for some tower damage. Not in a great spot to fight as Orange TP still wasn't up. And is coming online here in just a couple seconds. But yeah, Orn will Orn will get that top turret though. Um, well, we got dragon. I think that's a worth trade. Yeah. Um, overall, yeah, getting that dragon is pretty big, and especially with a cloud Drake, you're gonna have some alts come online pretty or come online a lot sooner, which means Zed will be able to gank more. Isn't Cloud Drake movement speed? Oh, maybe it is. I think it's movement speed. Oh, yeah, I think it's Air Drake that's uh, or uh, Is there an Air Drake? No. I don't even know. No, that, uh, There's that's some something. Drake that gives alt, though, as well. Is... I thought it was Cloud. Maybe it was Wind. Still the same thing. Are you sure? Yep. I don't know. All these Air. There, there, there's Cloud. There's 
uh, mountain. Yeah, there's cloud, mountain, uh, the fire one, infernal, yeah, infernal, and uh, an ocean. Yeah, ocean. Ah, it's ocean. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking yeah. of. Holy cow, Glockadile takes down the turret in mid, though. And just kind of right from under their noses as everyone else was, uh. You know, honestly, respectable. Oh, it's because, um. Northwestern Missouri, the Anumu picked up Shelly with his team. Ah. Uh, so he. That may be he what? got mid for free, which I think is still better because. Shelly's going to do a lot of turret damage, but getting that mid-tower, you can start to look to push in to their jungle for vision, mm -hmm. um, which is going to be huge coming into the late game, where mid-tower still up for UJ creates quite an issue for northeast, um, north, oh my gosh, northwest, northwest Missouri. Ilya going in deep here, and this should be a free kill on Pinecone. The shield comes in, but it is not enough against four champions. And UJ... Sure are champions. Champions are good. Right down mid getting kind of junked by the Orin. Yeah, it's kind of interesting because, like, I feel like Vlad can play at low le low health just because he has so much regen. Yes. Vlad is ridiculous when it comes to healing. Uh, I don't know if any of you have stuck with us for that long, uh, but three years ago now, uh, Phenom EX was uh, a Vlad main up there in that top lane. Uh, back when Vlad was nuts. <laughs> and, uh, well, he, he was, like, challenger. He was very good. Um, but, yeah, he he has tons and tons of lifesteal, and that can enable him to kind of carry games. Yeah. You see, um, U, UJ's too spoiled and insane and pick up that bottom turret, too. So UJ now up 2-1 to one in turrets. Uh, Shelly was dropped in mid, so now UJ's mid turret is on its last leg. Or last structural support beam, I guess. Oh, it's like the legs of a table. <laughs> the last structural support beam of the table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Vlad's pretty easily winning lane here. Has quite a bit more wave clear. Mm. Kind of just has a uh, man who says no. Kind of stuck under tower. Man which... who says no is... Definitely saying no yeah, to what's he's, happening he's in lane He's definitely right saying now. no at the moment, as his tower will not be standing much longer as the wave pushes in and gets a free chunk of damage every single time. Now, if he if he said me instead, he <laughs> might be a little bit further along. <laughs> no. See, yet another lane swap as um, the ADC and support will go to mid and Zed will go to bottom. And I think essentially what they're doing here is just sending Zed to whatever single lane he's in. Just kind of kind of letting him roam, but he could be in some trouble here, and he definitely is in trouble. Has to burn Flash, but even then, might not get away. He should get away. Looks like he will get away. I think he's juked him out. Yeah, he got out. He, he did not expect him to go upriver, and no, all wild. of a sudden, and that was Rise alt too, because they alted from essentially where he was first attacked all the way down oh, there goes orange yeah and that Ganked left the crap out <laughs> and of that left orange. man who says no all alone yeah that's a really good call from, yeah that was a from UJ. very good call because they recognize what at least three of yeah they knew at least they knew at least there. at least three was there and one was in top lane so that just me left one was someplace else and we'll take a 4v2 as oh, well yeah, absolutely <laughs> Shelly will get, or should get a hit on the bot turret, but UJ instantly melts that second top turret, which is very beneficial, especially if they look to solo or solo lane push here. Gonna have to kill Shelly there, but it shouldn't be too hard of a task. Man who says no fully respond now. What are the levels looking like? Derek is one level up on Jake Barr. Um, and then um, too spoiled, one level up on Wolf. And that's about it. Everything else is pretty even. So UJ with the very slight level advantage, which can make the difference. Yeah, UJ 25 minutes in, leading 12 to 10 in kills, and has about a 4k gold lead. Uh, pretty good spot as well, as they do quite a bit of damage in 
I think their calls after that first fight have been pretty decent so mm -hmm. far, so hopefully they can keep that going, especially as these kill timers get longer and longer. Do you hear XP getting a quick little sleep, but then leaving the scene? I mean, he's just helping Missouri get some rest. Right down mid is in quite the stun lock here, and they're just going to use everything. Yeah, no, that <laughs> that was a stun chain of like 10 <laughs> seconds. Yeah, that was... um Unfun. That... <laughs> Uninteractive. <laughs> I'm sure he was sitting in his chair, not fully expecting the entire, like, every stun they had. But, you know, on the bright side, that's great for you, Jay, as... <laughs> Yeah, you have a Numu alt out and quite a few other stuns off the board for at least a couple seconds. Mm -hmm. Oh, Zed getting a lot of information from that right there. <laughs> Big hook. Oh, oh. just misses. Would have only, the he, yeah, he would have only got the Orn, though, and I don't know how fast the Orn will die. Well, I, he wouldn't have died, but they would have chunked him a ton, and that definitely would have made him back 100%. Yeah, that is true. A lot of vision going on right now, and everyone trying to figure out where they exactly are. Good soup. Good soup. Joe with a fro picking up the blue buff. That'll be pretty beneficial for their eyes there. <laughs> Ooh, he comes in and, and uh, smites the scuttle just to make sure that they have vision. Does it give vision? Yes. Oh, I thought it just gave a speed it, boost. It gives a speed boost for that little circle, and it gives, like, vision for that little circle plus, like, a couple steps. Oh, okay. That's, that's like, the bigger reason why scuttle is important. Yeah, yeah. Joe with no fro is in quite a bit of trouble here. A lot of damage coming out. Yeah, and he is going to... <laughs> oh, he just disappeared. He is going to die. And that is a good pick coming out there from UJ as they can now start making their way to Dragon and knowing that they'll be up one for this fight. Mm -hmm. You see Omumu in the bot lane and the rest of Missouri. And uh, they working their way looks like dragon, they're just going to trade like? for Baron. And oh my gosh, they have so much damage on the Baron. What is going on? This is only the 27th minute. Yeah, whoever is doing damage is doing a lot of damage. I I, th I, I mean, I don't know. I, I think it's the Zed and the, the Kai, but I don't really know. I mean, you're probably right. I know I know. Kai's Q does, like, a ridiculous amount of damage yeah. to, like, non, non... Well, I mean, does it to champions, too, but to non-champions. Yeah. So, like, it doesn't... That part doesn't surprise me, but, like... You should only get Q up, well, you should get Q up twice or three times during a Baron fight. But that just died ridiculously qu yeah. quickly. And now they're going to have time to engage and fight on Dragon, yeah. too. Because Missouri just, they, I think they missed <coughs> hook how long it would take for the drag to spawn. Yeah. And you just just able to contest this for free. Yeah, that is definitely how it looked. We will see uh, Joe with no fro teleport in. It's going to be, a looks like a smite battle. As usually doesn't only want to engage yeah they will lose a big anumu alt but zed comes in and cleans up anumu lots of yeah lots coming, of killing on both sides uj coming out on top though by quite a bit yep and we'll have a full team kill mm -hmm. so winning out pretty handily here and this will give them some good free push um and you know those kill timers are getting long mm -hmm. you're looking at 30 seconds, you know, 30 seconds plus right now. And the longer this game goes on, the just the worse it gets. So, I mean, on one hand, lost drag. On the other hand, other team dead. Yeah, you, you lose drag, but you push all, you push all two, te or all two 
remaining outer towers down, and you should yeah, be able... just massive. Yeah, and with Baron buff, you might even be able to get an inhib here. It would be... I mean, Maybe. it might be close, but... They also just have to worry about the super minions at this point. Like, the super minions themselves could get inhib. Yeah. The, the Especially those cannons that shoot from longer range. Yeah, like, they're just... Right here, this is so much Another free. turret down. Yeah, and so, you know, we lose the dragon, but winning the team fight and getting all these turrets down is massive. So I think you're just actually not too upset about losing the dragon. Considering they just got all three uh, base turrets. Yeah, it puts them at a 10k gold lead as well. Um, is that what it's called? Base? Or, it's or, technically the Nexus. Is it or the like, Nexus? Or like the core or something like okay. that. Yeah, but... Well, no, because the Nexus is like the thing that you destroy. Well, okay, well, I, yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess it is their base then. Okay. Because I, I know Fountain is like where you spawn. I wasn't sure if there was a term for the general area. like the Yeah, part. I, I, think, I think it's just the base. It's just base, okay. But... Not sure. Baron Buff will be in play here, I would assume, probably about another 40 seconds, maybe a little less. Mm -hmm. um, so UJ just kind of looking to clean up the last bit that they can here. Oh, that alt onto Anumu did literally nothing. Oh. Um, Glogodile goes down, yeah. but not much he could really do in a no. 1v4 anyways. No, yeah. So kind of cut out of position there. Not very good for him, as kill timer for him will be 42 seconds. But... Keep in mind, Missouri does have to be defending all of their inhibs right now. Well, another another big thing to take note of is, like, you just had Baron killed. Yeah. You just fought over Dragon. Like, there's not really any objectives going on no. for the next three minutes. Mm -hmm. So dying, although is not good, like... It could be worse. Yeah. It you, definitely could be worse. You it could be costing you an objective yeah. or a tower or something like that. Yeah. And especially as objectives right now are, like, starting to get to the point where they're game-changing. Yeah. Um, especially, especially if Northwestern Missouri can capture this next Drake and set him up for Sol. Great hook coming in. Will be able to make it out. A lot of good damage coming out there. Oh, <laughs> my! Oh, that is a big sleep. But they turn it right around with a big stun. Vlad well, and Kai pick up two, however. And, oh, my gosh. Oh, just, just everyone is dying. That Kai just did like 25. Oh, oh it's my, so much that's damage. A lot of damage. Uh oh. Jeez. It's a 1v1. It's a 1v1. He, he wins these. He's better. Oh, no 1v1. No, he, he does no have the, the TP set up there, though. No does longer. He? Well, he, yeah, he does. He, yeah, he, he had it. Yeah, so um, that was a scrappy fight. <laughs> I mean, we we take those. I, yeah, you trade four for four, which doesn't hurt you. Doesn't, Good enough. Doesn't necessarily help well, you. Well, I mean, it hurt us a little bit just because of. Uh, yeah, bounties. I, yeah. I guess for bounties, it hurts us. So overall, it benefits uh, Northwest Missouri. But not by a whole lot. Yeah, it wasn't. It was very stun centric. Yeah. So I, like. Uh, also, one thing I would like to point out: uh, UJ has a 10k gold lead. 10k. Yeah. yeah, and you can see it, especially when it comes to the CS. Like, you have, you know, uh, Vlad almost doubling <laughs> yeah. CS here. And oh, Pinecone oh. gets caught out by the Glockodile, but the Glockodile, or, and Vlad, but the Glockodile's in some trouble here, needs to find a way to get nah, out. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, He's but fine. UJ's collapsing, and this could be another big fight. Oh, he does connect on the Orn. I don't know if he's going to rip it quite yet. It didn't look, doesn't look like they really want to take this fight yet. Let Glockodile heal up a little bit as he does have that red buff. That does connect. Yeah, that, was and that oh, is and that's a big, big hook. Kills. That's a massive hook. That is a big hook, and that is a fight that UJ wants to take right yep. there. Unfortunately, uh, Run Down Mid was shut down, but in the meantime, uh, everyone uh, that was alive on Missouri's side uh, is now not alive. Yeah, he, so. he gets shut down, but the thing is, is that that is number one. You stop him from soul dragging, you get the drag. You should be getting inhibs here, at least two. Um, can Lilia solo drag? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I believe she can put it to sleep. Oh, good point. And then yeah. just beat on it for That's, like two seconds. Yeah. So yeah, you should get two, if not all three inhibs here. And 
now Northwest Missouri is stuck. Like, they cannot they leave base. Yeah. And essentially, and Lilium might start Baron as well. Is he solo Baron? No. Okay. Uh, looks like it looks like it was just a ward. Possibly though, as we can start no, it. It does look like it was started, and oh yeah, they can totally two v one the Baron at this point. Yeah, they're, they can. They're so big. Uh, and yeah, and with a third coming in, so this is huge. UJ's taking all the objectives right now, and winning team fights. So they're in a very good position at the moment. Probably gonna see a all back here. Mm -hmm. So all get items. Now, the inhibs are gone. Uh, minions have Baron buff. And UJ is just a lot stronger than than Missouri. Yeah, I would I would assume you're going to see probably a four-man or a five-man push literally just running down mid. Uh, um, uh, run it, it, yeah, run it down did middle. It? Finally get to run down mid. But as I say that, he kind of is headed over to this bot lane. It looks like he's nah, just taking nah, nah. camps. He's running it down mid. He's a game. Yeah, player. he's back in mid. He's gaming. <laughs> Run it down. UJ might have to wait up a little bit for their Lilia to get to them. Uh, but it looks like yeah, Zed, Lilia Zed is, is speedy. Be, yeah. Zed is going to be going through the top lane, uh, just shoving his <clears> minions a little bit. And I'm okay with that because like, if Zed gets to the point where he can get in position to alt in, he can almost one-shot three of their members yeah so like it's not a too big of a deal if he's not with the main core and you guys yeah, looking just to end so, right it's now. just there, so there's much so damage. many oh and he minions. hits the hook through minions he's a god yeah uh, it's just so much damage from minions coming out it's just huge Zed yeah. is going to go down, but, but he picks up uh, the bleed kill on Ezreal. And <laughs> oh, there's so much damage. Oh, run it down Kill mid. Kill him in phone. Kill him in phone. Yeah, run, run Come down on. mid tower dove there for a minute. Uh, but yeah. yeah, they're going to wrap up game one yep. pretty decisively, actually. You only saw one kind of misplay, which was mostly a miscommunication um, from UJ, and that was at like the 10 minute mark. The rest of their game looked very clean. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's what you like to see. Let's um, look real quick. Oh, quick, quick, quick. Yeah, the Vlad did so Jeez. much damage. Um, so maybe it was the Vlad that was just chunking objectives. Well, I mean, you have four of them who are well, doing. Oh yeah, everyone but the Blitzcrank, and Blitzcrank doesn't do damage. Yeah, no, Blitzcrank so. just just hooks them in. Mm -hmm. He's a big fisherman. Large. He is the Roadhog of League of Legends. Truly. Or is Roadhog. The Blitzcrank of Overwatch. What came first? I would assume Blitzcrank. I'd assume Blitzcrank. So Roadhog is just Blitzcrank. Roadhog, Blitzcrank. You heard it here first. The crossover you've all been waiting for. I'm going to go look at the pizza. You may analyze. Nah, he's just going to look at it. Oh, I have to get inspected, don't I? Correct. Lol. LOL. League of Legends. Tell Brett I say hi. Brett cannot hear me right now, but he also will say hi back to you because that's what you do when someone says hi to you. So, yeah, you've got it, UJ Nate. Ooh, open! Oh my gosh, I almost just knocked over everything. <laughs> it's because here at UJ we're huge, bro. We are huge. That's true. We're very large. Large and in charge. And, you know, sometimes when you're large and in charge, you you are just kind of accidentally knocking things over because of your largeness and in chargeness. It's true. So, happens. Quite often, actually. The worst is when you're walking into Prentice and you accidentally rip the door off its hinges because you're just so jacked up on yeah. G Fuel. Yeah, yeah. And Adderall. G Fuel and Adderall. Adderall. I, I don't, who is UJ Nate? Um, I'm not completely sure. 
Because but, it's definitely neither of the UJ Nates that I know. Yeah, it's not either of the ones I know either, unless this is like an alt account of theirs. I don't know why. Which is funny, because like, in my opinion, why would you use an alt account on Twitch? Yeah. I mean, I have a Twitch alt, but that's for entirely nefarious reasons. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you not know who my alt is? I'm not going to spoil it for anyone in chat. No, I actually think I do know who your, who your alt is, but um, um, here, I, I I'm can... pretty sure I've seen you in Noah's stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, I'll, uh... I like how unknown user uh, followed us two days yeah, ago. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's yeah. what I thought. Oh, okay. 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 Is UJ and Nate? They they also know. They know Brett. Brett. It's probably a football player. That's a good point. It probably is a football player or a baseball player. Arc Fang Gaming. Arc, Arc Fan G Gaming. What? Oh yeah, I can't read. No, it it is it is Arc Fang Gaming. Oh, I was right. But, yeah, oh it, wait, but, you but, went good. But, but, but it's Arc Fan G Gaming. <laughs> it. What if it's GG? Amming. Arc fan GG Amming. I I love GG Amming. Or ARC fan GG Amming. GG Amming. <laughs> Ooh, we have 3,100 blue essence. I wonder what we can buy. What's our shop look like? You know how funny it would be if we opened this up and, like, these were, like, all legendary skins and we had no idea? We yeah, were like, yeah, those, those are cool. Next. <laughs> yeah, anyways. You got, like, you got, like, somebody who, like, watches or, like, who plays League all the time and, like, they're super rare skins and they're freaking out and you're like, what do you mean? <laughs> none of those skins look that cool to me. Yeah, we're taking one as well. I'm assuming they're having a bathroom break. Yeah. League of Legends goes way too long to. It goes too hard to not <laughs> take a bathroom. It's break. true. You have to, you know, at a midway point, you have to. Uh, I was about to say disembowel. You have to. That uh, is not the <laughs> word. Very different <laughs> thing. I very hope it's not thing. happening. You, you have to not disembowel, okay. but you have to empty your bowels. <laughs> oh, I love talking about emptying my bowels on stream. It's, uh, it's so great. I like talking about disemboweling it's on stream. Also, also bad. <laughs> They're both bad. They are um, both. Oh my gosh. They're both evil. Hey, knock it off. Um. Yeah, I so sometimes you're just like you're gaming too hard, and so you can't dedicate any energy towards like the normal bodily functions of you know like holding stuff in. <laughs> That's where gamer <coughs> catheters come into play. I should invent that. You should not invent that. And it just attaches to like a Gatorade bottle on your hip. You can. It's like you just put a Gatorade bottle in, so it's it's reusable. Only if it's lemon lime or cucumber. <laughs> uh, I, I have one of those. And oh, I've been dude, what is it. wrong with you? No, I haven't tried it. Oh, and I I imagine it's awful. Cucumber Gatorade is hands down the worst Gatorade. But that's why I wanted to try it. Because I wanted to see just how awful it was. Oh, it's 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 awful. Like like imagine drinking water. Okay. I'm imagining it. Oh yeah, that that was that was it. Imagine drinking water. That's not bad. <laughs> okay, you didn't get the joke. That's okay. <laughs> but no, like it's but, like but... okay, so take like water and then like in my opinion put a sweet pickle in it. And like shake it up. And get like the sweet pickle juice. Okay. And then, like, take the pickle out. Yep. And then just drink the pickled water. It's not good. So you're saying it tastes like pickle juice? No, because pickle juice tastes good and helps with cramping. Take notes of that, kids. But. So it's like bread and butter pickle juice. But like, yeah, like kind diluted. of, but, like, super diluted. Okay. It's really gross. I don't like it. I don't know. That sounds pretty poggers to me. Uh, yeah. I mean. 
you do have quite the taste, Evan. I do taste. <laughs> do taste. COVID not affected. True. I'm just going to do this. Immortal, man. That actually might be a play. Oh, but then you can't hear the oh. game audio. Is the only oh, thing. I mean, but if you right, don't care about game right audio. Right now, we don't need the, the, the game the, audio. Yeah, this is, this is the play. This sets, you, sets you, it up perfect. This you guys can't I see it, but we look future. really dumb. <laughs> this is how I imagine the future. We're all we're all in our like Wally chairs, yeah. and like we, we all have our, our gaming headsets around our, <laughs> we, around our we necks. We all have our Razor Shark Black Widows. Yeah, and... that'd be pretty gamer, I think. That would be gamer. I've been looking into getting a gaming chair. I actually have as well. I what brand? Um, I haven't fully decided. That's part of my issue. Mm is like there's just so many options yeah that it's overwhelming and i think a rocking chair would be pretty sweet though minus <laughs> that... the, minus the fact that like it would eventually hurt your bum in your back but like just put lumbar support ah yes <laughs> it'll be like one of those um like one of those you know like when newborn moms have like nursery rockers Right, and newborn they, and, moms. Well, <laughs> not not <laughs> not newborn moms. Moms who have newborns. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh. But like, um, you know how they have like the nursery rocking chairs with like yeah. the foam padding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, getting like one of those, I think that'd be lit. Because then, like, even when you aren't gaming, you can like just kick up and like gently rock. I don't know. I think it's a good idea. <laughs> I've been looking into a secret labs chair. <laughs> well, you know that's pretty cool too. I mean, yeah. Cause they, aren't those like four hundred bucks though? They're like five hundred bucks. Yeah, I was gonna say like, I want I like I, w- I would want one, but that's expensive. Like, but so the newest uh, series that they have, you can get them as plush. So you can just have a plush gaming chair. Imagine how comfy that would be. I don't want a plush gaming oh, chair. Oh, I want a plush gaming chair. I want chair. a gaming chair that is made from lion's manes. Here, you, you should look it up, though, because they have a lot of cool patterns that I feel like you'd actually Only enjoy. if it's cheetah. Yeah, I, I don't think they Lion, have a like, like, like pink leopard. I feel like that would be an Evan chair. Honestly, probably. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I like the gray one. Actually, yeah. I like the black one too, but I like the gray one the better. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. Okay, the Secret Lab Titan Evo twenty twenty two series it's pretty clean. for um, five hundred exact plus so shipping and handling. This is the one that I'm looking at, but this one also looks really nice. Cookies and cream. Uh, it, yeah, it's it looks like that. It's not oh, so, bad. so it's the it's the gray one that yeah. I was. Well, like. it's it's black and white though. It just blends okay. The well, I red. suppose. Yeah, like the white one looks really cool. They have a, yeah, they, but, they actually have a cool diva. Yeah, one. but like white chairs never go over well. No, yeah, I know. Well, so, wait, look at the frost blue real quick. Uh, it doesn't look good. Oh. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, it doesn't, yeah. It doesn't it's, look great. It's too white. Um, so that's, like, the default one. They, they have tons of eSports ones. So, like, they have a C9 one. They have a G2 one. Nah, nobody one. wants that. But, like, the G2 one's the G- Okay, sick. the G2 one's cool. Uh, yeah, they, they've got a bunch of eSports orgs. Interesting, um, interesting. They've got an Overwatch one, which actually looks really nice. Yeah, the, the, Overwatch, the Overwatch one is Jimmy Colors. I was about um, to say that, too. They've got a bunch of league ones. Like yeah. Misfortune, Viego, Pike, Yasuo. Those are kind of cool because they yeah. got like the blade design. Yeah. Um, there's a Batman one. That the Horde cool, chair. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, that's probably. Oh, yeah. baby. All right, but as we are getting into it here, we should probably not look at oh, the chairs. They also have an Alliance one. Oh, the Alliance one goes hard. Nope. <laughs> like. Yup. They both look clean, but they in different ways. Clean. They do both look clean. Okay. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Ba- back to the back to the League of Ledgers. The League of Ledgers. Oh, I'm gonna close it. Ah, yes. You guys, you guys should check out the Secret Lab chairs though, if you have an extra five hundred, six hundred dollars laying around. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm sure you all. Yeah, have yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Like, th- look, look at this. Or no, this one. Yeah. Tell me that doesn't look clean. It does look clean. Minus the fact that it's white and gray well, and would no, get dirty. Yeah, like, it's going to get dirty, but it looks really cool. <laughs> All right. Okay, I we're... want that Napo leather chair. 
Oh, yeah, it's like a thousand dollars for real leather on the chair. <laughs> Actually, it's it's like five hundred dollars more. Give me the O'Reilly special. <laughs> it's insane, and it's also sold out right now oh. because all of the real wealthy gamers were like, "Real leather, well, real." I'm I'm, I'm sure I hope I hope they, they all spill their G fuel on it. They have too much money. You think they're drinking G Fuel? They're drinking, like... Red Cabernet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, like, powdered and then put in water. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like a it's like a make-your-own. Yeah. See the uh, Vlad pickup go to the side of Northwest Missouri this game. They realize that that champ is busted. Um, also, a lot... I was going to say a lot tankier lineup, but, like, it really isn't that tanky. It's just the Vlad and the Orn. Yeah. Wait. Vlad mid? Yeah, I'm, it's got to be a Vlad mid. Okay. And then Kane jungle. Yeah. Lucian army bot. Yeah. See the Camille Orn matchup. Very interesting matchup. See the Anumu go to the side of UJ this time. And, you know, we're bringing out the Yon pick. I, I like UJ's in comp a lot. I do and I don't, be mostly because, hear me out, I am not a fan of Misfortune. Just in general? In in general, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. But on top of that, like, yeah, you have the Anumu stun, which is, like, the only thing you're going to be able to set it up with. Well, there's a Mumu stun, and there's also just, like, if there's one priority target, you can Blitzcrank hook and then nuke them. I, I suppose that's true as well. But, like, then you're relying on a lot. Like, you're relying on, number one, hitting the hook. The other team not counterplaying in any way. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Because, like, Misfortune Alt is pretty easy to dodge unless you're, like, stung. stuck. Yeah. <laughs> it, just a Mumu R, Misfortune R will win team fights. Just straight up, if there's a, yeah, like, if that, there's like a that drag is fight, true. They in don't fact, have stopwatches. In, in fact, we know Death. it. We know it wins fights because We've last week it. we yeah. got pounded by misfortune in a new move. I mean, we, we've also done it to other teams. We have, but last week in particular, there was one game that was like forty minutes long, and like four team fights ended just because of that. I was like, oh man, that hurts. So, you know, I kind of like that UJ is bringing it out. I do not like Misfortune, though, so I cannot stand and condone this kind of behavior from our team. Um, I want to see the Rakan. Oh, wait, Rakan got banned. Just kidding. I want to <laughs> see the Caitlyn. Where's the Caitlyn at? Bring back Kate ADC. No. Bring back Kate Mid. Kate Mid's fun. No. Yone mid. Vigar Yone. mid. It's Vigar like, mid is best mid. Not Yone. 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 Yone mid. The, the Gloco dial. What a, what a good name. I know I've said I this I wonder how he before, came up with but it. But it's just such a good name. Like, that's just one of the usernames you see when you're playing pubs or whatever. You're just like, uh, the Glock dial. That's a good name. <clears throat> that's, that's very well done. It's true. A great name, great name. On the other hand... T.O. spoiled, too. Just actually a, a, a mistype. I really like the run it down mid as a name, too. Especially because he, yeah, especially he doesn't play, he doesn't play yeah, mid. Yeah, I like that. Like, it throws people off a little bit, you know. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure when people are doing their scouting, they're like, run it down mid. Why is he playing all these tank champions yeah. in mid, bro? <laughs> Yeah, it'll be a very interesting um, mid fight. This game is. I feel like Vlad definitely has the advantage over Yon, um, when it comes to sustain and debatably damage up until about mid game. Cause Yon just like doesn't do a whole ton of damage early on, but like watch as the Glockadile is gonna make me eat my words here, and it's just gonna be melting people at like. Level four. <laughs> Lord of Hatred saying Yon Alt is the other part of the combo with MF. I don't think so. No, not possible.
So UJ going to be on the red side of the field this time, as Northwest Missouri will be blue. And we are going to get right on to the League of Ledger first three minutes of the game. But actually, we have a Blitzcrank, so you probably will see an Invade, so that's kind of exciting. But if nothing comes from it, it will be a normal start of three minutes League of Ledger action. Yay. <laughs> Emailing my boss about probably having to miss work on Sunday. Oh, nice. Because I just found out that we're competing this weekend. Oh, cool. Yeah, so we... Well, I mean, it's cool you're competing. Yeah, it's, it's not cool that I'm missing work, but yeah. I knew it was going to be weekends anyways. It just sucks that it was short notice. See, UJ pinging quite a bit in this bottom bush. Kind of has a suspicion that they're there. Suspicion. Suspicion. Why is Wolf not in the grass? <laughs> He's throwing Get in the grass. Everyone, everyone stack. <laughs> it's just five champs oh, inside of each oh, other. Oh, oh, this is uh, awkward. Uh, They're uh, just uh, all looking at each other now. <laughs> They're like, wait, wait, you've caught us. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Insanum, Insanum is in a very, very bad spot. Out. He's going to have to flash here. Yeah. Well, that, you know, he loses flash. That but. sucks a little bit. But I mean, granted, Blitzcrank. Not that big of a deal. Like, yeah. It, a lot of the time, he's... Well, I, I guess you're... He's, about, playing, you're, you're, he's normally playing farther back yeah. anyways. Yeah, so. And, like, against the, the Namilution, he shouldn't have to worry too much. No. Mostly because Nami's going to push him back anyways if, if that's, like, the setup. I don't really understand their ADC um, support lineup. It... Uh... One ADC plus one support. Well, oh, okay. Th <laughs> thank you, Clicky. I understand You're that welcome. part of it. My my analyzing, <laughs> insane, nuts. Yet another UJ quality, being insane. It'd be like insaneum. Like insaneum. Uh, Lord of Hatred was the one that suggested. Uh, the Glockodile, his name. So, uh, yeah, we we can thank Mr. Lord of Hatred for the, the blessing that is the username, the Glockodile. Uh, and Arcfang Gaming also uh, attesting to Secret Lab chairs being quite high quality. <laughs> the Glockodile does get, well, half ganked mid, but... I, the own just kind of was like, yeah, I'm going to hit you once and leave. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vlad you mean, you wasn't. Mean the, the, the cane. Or, yeah, the cane. Yeah. But Vlad really wasn't in position to do much. No. So, it's not like it really mattered as you know, or as Kane makes his way back up. Is he running it down mid? Actually, down in health right now. Kind of taking some early poke, but not the worst thing as Camille is a tanky girl. Relatively tanky. Not like Orn kind of tanky. Yeah. But tanky for how much damage she does. <coughs> Ooh, Glockadile yeah. going in, getting a lot of damage. Well, not a lot of damage, but some valuable damage. Yeah, pretty pretty good damage overall. Oh, that was a big knockup. Run down mid is in trouble. Yeah. And yeah. Run down mid goes down there and Kane picks it up. Is so he? Oh, he doesn't have flash. Wait, what? He has TP Ignite. What? Yeah. That's uh, unless I'm wrong. Oh no, you're right. Yeah. You're you're right. He TPs back to point here, which is fine because you're not too worried about anyone taking dragon right now. Yeah. Um Five minutes into the game, there are very I, few champions that can solo dragon. I I was wondering why he didn't flash, and then I was like, well, does he not have flash? I I, I was kind of and he just didn't have flash. <laughs> I was kind of wondering that too, and that's a very good observation to point out, um, especially as the game goes on. Um, I think he's relying quite a bit on his Camille movement in general, mm -hmm. um, which he's usually pretty good with. Oh, I agree. I think Camille is. Debatably his best champion. Da baby. Da baby. Let's go. 
Actually, I think his Irelia is probably his best, but that Irelia is nasty. Know. His Camille's pretty nasty too. Isn't Camille his favorite? I want to say Camille um, is his favorite. Probably. I know he really likes Alawi too. Yeah. Well, I was just so annoying. <laughs> yeah. And two spoiled will trade or get that kill back for the UJ here. DX be in a little bit of trouble. No, no, no. Oh, wait. I was looking at the wrong person. Yeah. Just kidding. It's Missouri that's in trouble. <laughs> and DXP with good stuns coming out there. Massive hook. Big, big hook. I'm no, glad. No follow up, but big hook. I'm glad to see uh, Two Spoiled picking up um, whatever skin that is that Miss Fortune uses. I don't know. It's pretty cool. It, it, it does look cool. She's shooting stars at people. Yeah. Like, I I don't think most people Ooh, can shoot stars. A big people. stun and alt comes out, yeah, and Joe with uh, the fro should go down, and a he A lot will. of damage. I think I'm in taking a lot of damage from that ignite. But yeah, he he'll survives. Be fine. That's all that matters. Yeah, he'll be fine. Good gank coming out there. <clears throat> Valorant's tomorrow, right? I want to say Valorant's tomorrow, like seven. Overwatch is at six against Missouri. Like this Missouri? No, against oh. Big Missouri. Ah. That should be a pretty intense game. Ah. Um. And then hopefully we get to stream. Valorant. And Valorant will be that or er, at like eight thirty. Oh, it's that late. Yeah. Oh. Well, okay. Because. Autumn plays both, so. That's true. Well, I, I don't know who Autumn is, but yeah. Neither do I. What if the game goes longer than two and a half hours? It won't go that long. But what if it did? What then? the? It's very hard to make an over like an Overwatch best of five. Well, actually, that's not true. I guess you could totally do it, but. Yeah, Nami's in yeah, a lot of yeah, trouble. <laughs> she, she got blown up. Yeah, that is by far going to be the squishiest character on their team throughout the entire game. And, yeah, and then when she gets hooked into three UJ players. Yeah, and with uh, the current team we have, I don't see this being a very fun game for her. Um, I don't see this being a very fun game for a lot of Missouri, quite frankly. Frank. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think that... The Vlad will hold his own just because it's Vlad and can heal so much. Um, the Kane can, as long as it, you know, gets semi-fed, should be fine because he can run so fast and shift through stuff. Mm -hmm. um, the Ornn will be interesting to see if he actually goes tank or not. Nah, he didn't I, really, or like he doesn't really look like he is right now, but well, he also maybe it's doing just because. a lot of damage. Yeah, but he's not going to do damage. That's the thing. Well, he, can, he he's not going to be deleting people but he can okay he's he can gonna chunk people. he's gonna do little damage he's not gonna be deleting people the, the way that like a cane can but yeah and the lucian is normally seen as kind of a kind of a glass cannon yeah so like they're kind of just squishy overall except for you know the vlad and the horn and then if they're all kind of squishy we like the combo that we talked about earlier the the amumu misfortune People are disappearing off the map real quickly. Yeah, I think the biggest issue with uh, Northwest Missouri's comp is, like, there is almost no, like, real CC. Yeah, um, there, there was that bubble that we just saw. Yeah, which... th there's there's the Nami CC. Yeah. And then, like, there's technically the Orn CC. Which he does have a fair amount yeah, of stun. But, but it is a lot of... Putting it on hitting that skill shot when it comes to team. Well, fights. that and it's single target CC. It's not like a Mumu where he can just hit R. Yeah, and, and then CC like, oh, the here's entire all five. team for four <laughs> seconds. Yeah, yeah. Um, UJ in pretty good control early on here. As long as they don't get caught out too much, they should be in control coming into this um, second dragon. You're not doing a whole lot of damage. It looks like. Missouri is going to be collapsing on UJ here at the scuttle, but they're just going to absolutely delete uh, 
<laughs> who did they delete? It was the... It was Deer XB, but... Well, on Missouri. Oh. I mean, technically the Orn. Oh, no, the Cane. Yeah, it was... It was yeah, 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 the Cane. There we go. Run it down mid. Uh, he's going to use that Ignite on uh, Joe with no fro. And now I think... Oh, well, I mean, uh, Camille can't really... 1v1 Shelly, I don't think, but... I don't I don't think so. <laughs> um, that being said, they're they're forcing Missouri to reset a little bit. And Shelly is still up, if I'm not mistaken, so... Oh, never mind, we got Shelly. Yeah, because we called it... Yes! I, I, Shelly! When did we get Shelly? Um, during that initial fight. Well, yeah, I get that. But... Of when we killed Kane and Orn. Uh, I'm assuming... Um, Camille probably just oh, stayed yeah, 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 and cleaned yeah, yeah, up. Oh, yeah, 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 because it, yeah. Or Yone stayed and cleaned up the last health of Shelly. Yeah. Because initially it was just, um, just Deer XP and the Glockodile, I believe. And they were collapsed on by three of Missouri. And then run it down mid. Um, Pride just came down, cleaned up Shelly, and then we saw him chase down the, uh, the Vlad, right? I believe so. Yeah, because, yeah, Joe with no fro. Joe with the fro. Joe with no fro. There's your CS, Lord of Hatred. You'll see it in a few minutes. Yeah, but, but he wants to see it now. Well, I'm sorry. I can't show it now. Oh, Too spoiled yeah. picking up another kill. And a pretty big alt coming out there. Good damage. We'll pick... Oh, maybe not. As Deer a, XP here. Oh, yeah. Time oh, for some my kills. goodness. It's just a stun difference. <laughs> oh, no. In the late TP. Oh, the turbo late oh. TP. That was super but wasted. But Deer XP the misses his bandage, like bandage throw yeah. stun, and he's going to be able to get out. Kind of sucks for UJ, but they will get quite a bit of plating here. Uh, I mean that, that. Oh wait, they're gonna get the kill too as he reengages. I don't really know why he reengaged, but hey, we, UJ will uh, take it. We got it. the kill. We can reset. We get some tower damage. Uh, we we might get a the whole lot of yeah. tower damage. Run it down mid. Wants this last tower plating, then he's gonna get it, and then he'll leave. <laughs> yeah. So uh, UJ just kind of controlling just about every aspect of this game. Um, for the uh, first 13 minutes here. Yeah, UJ is uh, kind, of, kind of popping. Ooh, yeah. that, that was a really good skill shot. That was. Just but, late. Yeah, just like a quarter of a second too late. Yeah, Dragon spawning, or Dragon spawned here though, and I'd assume UJ wants to fight this as they definitely have a team comp that's a little bit better for fighting right now. Can you hook drag? Can you just pull nah, drag way out? I don't think so. I think you can like aggro it with hook, but oh, I don't think okay. I don't think you can actually grab it. Let's crank is relatively tanky, isn't he? Yeah. What? Whoa! How did that hit? I don't know, but UJ will take it. Well, yeah. So Lucian dead. <laughs> yeah, Lucian so dead. Should be UJ a pretty dragon. Free drag. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well yeah. Look at look at mini map. They're conceding drag. Yeah. And if anything, that Lucian may have thrown a little bit just by being there. Well, I mean, yeah. Also, I don't know if that skill shot actually, like, hit. It oh, looked... my. Oh. He's too clean. Pinecone also dying? Yeah, I... nice little flip over the wall. And UJ setting themselves up for a quick game here. Is Missouri misplaying? Because it feels like they're kind of misplaying. They're I feel... They're just dying one by one, and they're, they're in places they shouldn't be. Yeah, I, I, I feel... I feel like it's a miss or like it's misplays, but on top of that, I feel like it's a pretty drastic team comp difference. Well, yeah, um, but even then, like the the Lucian pick shouldn't have happened. The Nami pick shouldn't have happened. Yeah, they def the Nami pick definitely shouldn't have happened. The Lucian pick I could understand as they originally were thinking about fighting it, but you got to make up that decision yeah, quicker. Yeah, and the the Kane pick I I guess I can kind of understand. That being said, he needed to be way more careful because he knew so many UJ players were down there. Oh my gosh, and this Camille is chunking. Yeah, and that's, Get him! That's yeah! Cool. Between, oh my gosh, and two spoiled's fed as well. That was oh, a lot of oh, tower damage. Oh, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> Needs to be a little careful there, but... 
Kane comes in, but... No, he's fine. Yeah, I don't... He, he's got the T.O. spoiled oh, support. He does alt, though. She probably will get the kill. Oh! No way! Oh! oh. oh. He did get the kill. Oh. So close, too. That that would have been so sick if he got out. Yeah, DRXP was on the great escape there. He really was. It's like... It's like... Do you remember that show called The Amazing Race? Great yeah. show. Yeah. Yeah, love that show. Those two were on the amazing race, but he just quite didn't make it. Just quite didn't make it. It's the way it do be. Doobie, doobie, do. Doobie. <laughs> oh, misses alt there. Kind of awkward. Um, and Glockodile might die. Yeah. Good Ooh. hook there, Yeah, though. very good hook because then you yeah, can isolate the cane. Completely. Makes it a one v one or a one for one. We, yeah, we we take it. That was a really nice play from Insane. I'm just being able to isolate that one v one and just even the trade. It's not good for UJ just because of the bounty difference, but still a one for one. So it could be much worse. Good skill shot onto Insane there. That being said, Insane can hit skill shots <laughs> yeah, too. Yeah, and Insane in these hooks, that especially the second game, have been just spicy. Oh yeah, he's he knows where they are. He knows where they're going. He's in their heads. He's telepathetic. You you, you didn't you didn't like that one? You didn't like tel you didn't like telepathetic? Oh. <laughs> No, I was reading the uh, reading the in-game chatter between uh, the two of them. Understandable. Because the Glockodile, after he missed alt there, was <laughs> like, stop the stream. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got you. <laughs> and then the stream just goes black. <laughs> it just goes black. Be like, yeah, we're, we're done. Yeah, we're done. Yep, yep, okay. Uh, Even with that, though, UJ oh, had a... Oh, yeah, just going to... There, yeah, here. Oh. Uh... Yeah, here, here, here you guys go. We're, we're done. We're, done. <laughs> we're, we're yeah, calling. Yeah, yeah we're, we're done. Uh, just kidding. Ah! We're back. We've trolled you. You got trolled. You got trolled. We were baiting you. Imagine getting trolled by the clickster himself. Yeah, I, I mean, it's probably kind of an honor, <laughs> TBH, to be honest. But, yeah. Did you just say TBH, to be honest? TBH, be honest. Oh, I was yeah. like, kind of cringe, bro. TBH, to be honest. <laughs> What is what is the? Oh, our Camille's just going in, sets uh, up a big misfortune alt, and Orn will go down again. <laughs> yep. And when Orn is getting cracked like that, he he's just he's not getting tanky enough. The more he dies, the less tanky he gets. So it's it's kind of just a lose more situation. <laughs> yeah. Well, mis misfortune's quite large. Oh uh, no! Yeah, I'm not saying she's not. I I'm just saying you know. When Orin gets behind, he's not doing much. Yeah, uh, UJ kind of just demolishing when it comes to team fights right now, and even well, not it, team fights, it, even one v ones. It's, it's like... not even really team fights. It seems like UJ is <clears throat> taking all of these two v ones, three v twos, whatever, and just because they're getting those nice advantages in those smaller scraps. Yeah, it's making it very hard. Yeah, they're they're swaying things. So hard in UJ's favor. Like, we're almost getting tower. We, we're getting tower. He, he just ignores the Orn and hits tower. And then proceeds to hit Orn for half elf and yeah, alts or, in. The Orn probably. Okay, no. <laughs> Subvolution is like, yeah, I don't really know if I can take that. Well, and like, he probably could have. Um, no, I, th I think no, he could have killed the Orn, but I think it he would have died. Been for one, yeah. yeah, I think he would have died. But. That's kind of a cool channeling thing. That really was. Smart play for by uh, running down mid to just back up and back there. Can you get custom channeling animations? Or is that just uh, one for a character? I have no idea. Oh, okay. UJ picks up the third dragon uncontested. And, <laughs> you know, we're, we're not even 20 minutes in, and we already have three dragons, and you're up 12 kills and almost 11k gold, like... It is not looking good right now for Northwest Missouri. They have to find a way to figure out how to stop you, Jay. Ooh, you did say Northwest this time. I did. I Very did. Very nice. It, oh, it, massive it, hooks. J just think about it like the the East Coast is better than the West Coast, and right now we're doing better than Northwest. So, like, the, the West is worse. 
east first, west. Go north. Yeah, go north. <laughs> Dakota. UJ. UJ. <laughs> Esports. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, I mean, the TXP hits a massive stun. The Orn pops old, I think, because I saw it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, DXP he probably will go down here. I just, yeah. Oh my oh gosh. Oh my god. The Glockenile hits a three, a three, four man all? Three? Four. I think it was three. I think he just picked oh, up the four. Okay. Holy cow. Oh, that was so much damage. That's. That could be game winning. Uh, that could yeah, actually it, it be really game winning. It really could. This is going to be a kill here, like, no doubt. Oh. Just melted. Oh, my. Yeah. Went down mid with the ace, too. They can. Can they finish? They might be able to finish. I think you can force a finish, but, like, you will have to go through at least one wave of respawns. Yeah. But you have so much damage right now that yeah, they, I. They get inhib every time. Oh, they, yeah, they get two inhibs here for. Free. Do they get two inhibs? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because Camille's down at Bayou. Yep, yep. Yeah, and, you know, smart play, UJ. Knowing they're up this much, just back up. Mm -hmm. and you Take know. the space that's given to you. Don't try to take any more yep. than you're allotted. Take, take their jungle so they literally have nothing they can fight for anyways. And then you back and get even stronger. <laughs> like, like, it's... It's kind of crazy the amount of damage right now that the Camille, the Yone, and the Misfortune are all doing. Like, literally, Anumu's at this point, even though he is doing a lot of damage, is literally only there to be a stun bot. Mm -hmm. And Insanum's only there to put, like, to hit hooks and put people in position. That's it. Put people into death. Into death. Make people die. Not via his hand, though. <laughs> I mean, directly. It, it's like. Uh, well, I was going to say leaving a baby in a hot car, but that felt a little dark. That sounds awful. Don't yeah. say that. Yeah, it, <laughs> but, like, it's not technically whoever left the baby that's killing the baby. It's, I'm... Okay, I mean... It's the fault of the baby. The baby just... It's yeah. Not, it's not Dude, leaving the car. Get out of the car. Why doesn't the baby just walk, bro? Yeah, just crawl out of the car. I know you can crawl. Babies <laughs> crawl. That's what you do. <laughs> Get out. Well, Clicky, that is a reach of an explanation and i don't think if it's a good one well but i mean <laughs> no it seems it's a pretty good explanation <laughs> hooking, it is hooking not a, a champ is like leaving a baby in a hot car you heard it here first folks <laughs> that's just uh, not okay there's a reason i'm the best caster to ever exist glockodile alts in yeah, instantly will cause a kill. lot of damage They'll get the free tower here. They'll probably get the inhib plus Camille go. Oh my gosh, oh, Camille! That, that was so Cam much damage. Camille's little jump kick in literally does half health on Orn yeah, and that's, Kane. That's like, insane. What? Orn is like turbo tanky. And oh yeah, and th this is gonna oh, be game. Dude, yeah, you, we, yeah, we have to finish here. You, We're doing so much damage. No, you, no one on UJ's dying. UJ wants to get to dinner. Uh, they're look at that. They're eating already. Yeah, they're. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, game. that's game, and UJ just dominated the second game. Like, yeah. I really think it comes down to, or at least that second game, it really comes down to team comp difference. Um, that's why I said I liked UJ's team comp. It was well well done. I, I do like the team comp. I just don't like MF. Well, even yeah, though, yeah, even yeah. though Too Spoiled did show Kinda me up. Kind of Seven. Seven, seven and one ten. and ten. Yeah, and, He's and in fact, you know, if I can get him in here, that's who I would want to talk to right now. You want me to go grab him? You want to go grab him? Yeah, I will see what I can do. I'll analyze instead of yeah. in, instead of you this time. So, let's check out the advanced details. Uh, you did see, um, you did see the Glockodile kind of nuking things, uh, towards the end there. And it's it looks like he did do a pretty consistent uh, amount of damage. That being said, Camille was also nuking things, and she was just like, just just doing a lot of damage, aside from burst damage. So yeah, we haven't had Seth. Yeah, Seth did go crazy, but you, you know go. who else went this crazy? Way. Who 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 went who went crazy? I would who? have to say that Two Spoiled went crazy. Uh, do, 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 do you mean T.O. Spoiled? T.O. Spoiled. You are correct. Uh, 
Teos. Boy, hey, oh, that's know. me. Oh, that's yeah, we him. got that's him. him. We got him here for you. It's him. And it's true. You know, I I really want to know what you and the team were thinking going into that second game. What was your game plan there? Well, the game plan was we won the first. We just wanted to change one band, make it a little easier for us, mm -hmm. get rid of the Leona. And uh, boy, did it work out well. Was the Leona <laughs> making it hard, though? I don't really remember the Leona doing too much work. Uh, Well, it was just a lot of CC, and ah, that bad. person played a lot of Leona, so oh, okay. might as well just make them a little bit, so, a little uh, bit easier to catch and stuff. Like so... My question for you is, what was the thought behind picking the Misfortune over, like, any other ADC? Misfortune, good. Misfortune just works so well with Amumu. Yeah. See? <laughs> See? <laughs> so Listen, well Misfortune are Amumu are one team fight. It's true. And we were, we were flexing the Amumu with, uh, with Insanum and Deer XP. And since they didn't respect the Blitzcrank for getting free picks, we just picked the Blitzcrank again. Uh, and he just got more free yeah. picks. Yeah. And it's it just getting a Blitz hook is free kill for, like, any ADC. So. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, quite the setup here. Uh, that last game, you had second most damage on your team, just barely beating out the Glockodile in mid. Um, oh, but, you know, but you kind of got smoked by a tank. What happened? Or at the end? Yeah. Oh, we do a little bit of inting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was first death of the game. We we were kind of we were kind of going. Uh, point. I yeah. The cane the cane did a lot of damage. Although I was very fed, <laughs> I'm still just a little ADC that gets popped. So. So what are you guys uh looking at doing going forward? You know, picked up a big win today. Kind of had a tough. Kind of a tough season so far as, you know, you faced two really good teams who ended up coming up with wins. Mm -hmm. um, you also have beat, well, is it two or three teams now? Two? Three. Two three teams? Least. Is it only two? I think it's three. I think it's um, three, too. I think you're three and two. But, you know, and you have two quality Result. wins and, you know, picked up another one today. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, this one has to be a little bit of an ego boost, too. Oh, yeah, you guys kind sure. of hard-dommed. Yeah. Like, especially yeah. second game. You guys... I know yeah, rolls the kills bit. like like five and or like six and twenty something. I feel yeah, uh, it was like six and twenty eight or something like that. Uh, how do how do I go? Is it this? Um, yeah, you just yeah. There we go. Yeah, six six and twenty eight. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. was a uh, big confidence boost. As far as going forward, uh, our comms were really good today, mm -hmm. and then we just we're getting really. Before, we honestly just didn't really know how to play together a bunch because me and Insanum are new to the team. So we kind of had to figure that out. And now we're just still working on playing together as a team. It's been going well. Yeah, it, it looks like it's been going well. There there was one instance where I run it down mid, seemed to TP down to bot a little late, and it was a bit of a sloppy fight first game. But other than that, it seems like there were really good calls, really just, just decent team synergy going on you guys kind of just true. seem to be to be energetically aligned you you all wanted yeah. to give each other twenty dollars <laughs> <laughs> yeah the uh the my the mine out monsters looked real good down in bot lane today truly uh, definitely going to be looking at keeping that going as they go forward with the season here as you guys have how long do you have left like a month before playoffs honestly so, i don't know it's a I'm bit yeah i think it's a month or maybe a month and a half before playoffs but you know looking to secure one of those top eight spots going in so yep. you know it's a good win keep pushing for a higher seed yep um but we'll let you go and eat and get back to your daily activities you know <laughs> great job today uh too spoiled and thanks for coming in and talking with us yeah well, I guess thanks. Thanks for chatting with me, too. Yeah, it, <laughs> by, by the way, if Allie's still here, there's pizza in there. Oh, yeah. If she hasn't offered yep. you pizza already. She did. Yeah, oh, chat. Did? Okay. Just for you, there's pizza <laughs> in our room. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, you know, great win overall. Um, look, exciting to look, see him play. Look, it's the guy that got a quadra kill. Oh. And, uh, and, uh, and, oh, uh, that's because it was. <laughs> Your own damage got beat out there. Like, yeah, you had a cool 4K, but I you didn't have next like damage. You know, Wait, but Amumu was on our team. <laughs> you know, it was, it was a great second game overall. First game, you know, other than that one play pretty early on, looked very clean. And, you know, the adjustments from last week, you could definitely see that they're 
where or you guys came in a little bit more, you know, prepared on what to expect and, you know, you kind of executed a little bit better than last week. So you love to mm -hmm. see it mm -hmm. We've been as grinding. league picks up a, you know, big win here and coming into mid season, mm -hmm. you don't want to be dropping too many games. So that's a, it's a pretty valuable where every win starts counting. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to head out. Oh, all <laughs> right. <laughs> we'll see you later. See you. Good job tonight. And thank you. you know, thank you. Keep grinding out there. We'll see you tomorrow night for Valorant as well. But, you know, that's that. And, you know, that's an exciting there. That's going to be an exciting matchup tomorrow as well. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to round out the. No, go, go. <laughs> Go that. You go definitely want to go that way. Don't don't go this. They're way. gonna round out the night with some Valorant, starting or start with Overwatch at six against University of Missouri. Big game there. We lost out to them the past two years in playoffs, mm -hmm. and um, but it's been relatively close both times. Yeah, the our first year, um, or the at least the first year I was here that we yeah. played them, it wasn't close but it wasn't bad yeah and then last year we actually made it pretty competitive against them they are a 4.3 team oh okay. so you know they're pretty high up there when yeah. it comes to skill yeah but you know we made it pretty close last year um i think we did take possibly a map off yeah, them I, I i think you guys went it, one it was three. it was either a map or like a, a or like every game was like two to one or three to two or no, something I, like I that. I remember you guys taking a map off Missouri. Um, yeah, so you know, pretty excited for the rematch yet yeah, again, I, I round too. three, and you know, <laughs> we still have to play them come playoffs too. So probably going to be more than mm -hmm. that. But yeah. you know, round three tomorrow. Excited to see some of them again. See their new faces that they bring. Always fun playing. You know, people of that caliber. Mm -hmm. And um, your boy Clicky casting it as well, <laughs> and you get to hear Clicky cast. Sheesh. Sheesh! Tomorrow sounds like a good day. Sheesh. And then, then once you know, we I finish up with Overwatch, I'll be in here for Valorant to help our boy Clicky cast. Sheesh! Sheesh! It's gonna be a great time. Definitely tune in tomorrow. We got two big games coming at you. Um, <laughs> At least two great casters, possibly a third, depending on if uh, Clicky gets help for Overwatch or not. We'll see. Uh, trust me, I won't get help. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Uh, but, you know. In, um, in more ways than one, I won't get help. <laughs> well, that's pretty much all we have here from tonight. Um, uh, and don't forget, also, Hearthstone on Saturday. Oh, yes. Uh, I don't know how exactly we're going to stream that. It might be largely... Just streaming my perspective. It's also going to be going for a while. Uh, so the way that we're doing it is a Swiss bracket. So uh, if you win your first game, uh, your next game is going to be against someone that's 1-0. Uh, if you lose it, it's going to be against someone that's 0-1. And you, you keep matching uh, uh, records like that. And so we're going to be playing, what, probably five yeah, probably series. Four or five. Um, over over the course of the day, so it's gonna be a lot of Hearthstone. Um, so I yeah, like I said, I don't know exactly how that's gonna be for streaming. Yeah, cl um, clicking the team's brain is gonna be fried Saturday. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> not gonna be fun. But, sure uh, it will. When you go five and zero. Oh in yeah, play. I no yeah, <laughs> I, I like I'm expecting to go like four and one, five and zero, but um. You know, I, oh, it's just so much Hearthstone. It's like it's like playing Overwatch for an entire day. Like, it, yeah. it's a fun game, sure. But when you're playing it for the entire day, you just get yeah. so tired of it. And it gets to the point where, like, you know, one thing starts tilting you more and more. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, that'll that's actually really cool that you guys are uh, starting off your season and you get to have you know that Swiss tournament kind of mm -hmm. style. Yeah. So there's um, gonna be a lot. A lot of matches for all of us because there, there's four of us on the team this year. Oh, and uh, one thing is, so in the past it's been three v three. This year it's singles. Yeah. Uh, so. so yeah, that that's why I've been saying I don't know who exactly we're gonna be streaming, like what perspective we're gonna be streaming, uh, if we're gonna face cams, if we're just gonna be going from spec to spec, depending on who's playing when. Yeah, I say um, I say it'll probably end up being depending on who's playing when. Yeah. 
Um, I mean, you know, if you guys are all playing four different games, probably going to see all four players at some point um, for at least a game, if not more. Yeah. Um, so, you know, lots of good Hearthstone action. <laughs> going to be a longer stream um, or multiple short ones. We'll see how the timing works. Yeah, but... I, I would assume we're just going to keep the stream live. There might be some downtime in between, but I we're, we're definitely Don't worry. The stream live. Clicky will keep you entertained. <laughs> Honestly, in, in between uh, each series, I'll, I'll probably just come in here and talk about the series. You... I, I, I mean, I guess most of the viewers wouldn't really gain a whole lot just because Hearthstone is kind of... You have to play the game to to understand what's going on, but you know, you'll you'll still hear like my thought process. Uh, and if we have anyone uh, casting like we're doing right now, um, I'll I'll be able to to banter with them a little bit in in between matches. So um, even though it's gonna be a, a whole whole lot of Hearthstone and a real long stream, it should still be enjoyable. Yeah, it should be, should be a pretty fun one overall. Um, excited to see how Hearthstone does this year. Mm -hmm. You know, last year finishing top eight in the nation. Um, so, yeah, pretty exciting stuff, especially going into singles, a little bit different format. Mm -hmm. um, everyone's kind of on their own this year, so mm -hmm. it'll be exciting to see, you know, how far some of our players can get. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, then that takes us right on into next week. <laughs> and next week is gonna be our normal schedule so well yeah that's what you think until next week yeah, rolls that, around and that's the, true. the coach texts our coach like an hour before <laughs> and is like hey can we yeah, reschedule games, yeah we we are... haven't played a single game on schedule at all this season yeah. uh yeah so we're, we're gonna reschedule to the only times that you can't play <laughs> yeah you know it's a struggle of uh, collegiate esports. Oh, but it, hopefully, if, if you can't play during the times, don't sign up for it. Hopefully, we'll be able to figure out, figure it out, and you know, bring all the games to you next week. Uh, should be a pretty good one. Definitely tune in tomorrow and this weekend. Lots of good action. Um, we hope you guys, you know, enjoyed the stream and had a good night. Saw COD pick up a pretty nice victory for mm -hmm. week two. Uh, two and zero on the season is their inaugural start, so you know you love to see it. League picks up a big win here, puts them in the win column, and you know hopefully Overwatch and Valorant can carry it over tomorrow, and you know keep the keep the hot week going. Mm -hmm. Um, and then obviously you know Hearthstone on Saturday, Saturday or Sunday. Yep. Well, Saturday. so Saturday, and then uh, oh, if so any of us days. qualify for Sunday, Sunday's top eight. Oh, okay. And okay. then I think so. that's single elim. Okay, so. Possibly both days. Mm -hmm. um, uh, probably both days. Like I said, yeah. I'm expecting to go four and one five and zero. Oh. Yeah, I I would I would agree. Probably both days. So you know, pretty exciting stuff. Definitely be sure to tune in if you have the chance. Uh, we hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday night. Um, Had to check the day. I did. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, if it's uh, raining like it is where yeah, you are or where we just are, don't matter anymore. They just all blend together. Time yeah. isn't real. Hopefully, uh. You guys have better weather than we do here, as it has rained like downpour nonstop for the past ever it's day. Been fun. It's been a good time. Yeah, this day never ends. It's so wet. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah. You know, hopefully you guys have a good night and good days tomorrow. And be sure to catch us back here at six for some Overwatch action and eight thirty for some good old Valorant. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and we hope to see you tomorrow.